Hey y'all! Welcome to another fascinating journey through the heart of America. Today, we're going to talk about two small towns that you might not have heard of before, Pittsview, Alabama and Emporia, Virginia. These towns may be thousands of miles apart, but they share a surprising connection that ties them together, and that connection is China. You see, these towns got caught in the crossfire of a trade war between the United States and China. Remember when the US government decided to impose tariffs on a wide range of goods imported from China? Well, the residents of Pittsview and Emporia certainly do, because they felt the impact almost immediately. Pittsview, Alabama, is a town that thrives on its peanut farms. Generations of families have worked these fields, producing some of the finest peanuts in the country. Meanwhile, Emporia, Virginia, is renowned for its timber industry. The forests here have provided livelihoods for countless loggers and their families. Both of these towns rely heavily on exporting their products to China. It's a crucial part of their local economies. But when those tariffs were put in place, everything changed. The cost of doing business with China suddenly skyrocketed. Suddenly, the cost of exporting peanuts and timber to China became prohibitively expensive. Local businesses were hit hard. Farmers and loggers in these towns were left scratching their heads, trying to figure out how to cope with this new reality. They held meetings, discussed strategies, and tried to find a way forward. This is a story about the unintended consequences of trade wars. It's about how decisions made in far-off places can have a profound impact on the lives of everyday Americans. It's about how policies crafted in the halls of Washington, D.C. can ripple out and affect communities in ways that are often unexpected and sometimes devastating. So, buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to dive deep into the world of tariffs, trade, and the real cost of these economic showdowns. We'll explore how these policies are made, who they benefit, and who they hurt. Are you ready to learn more? Let's go. Together, we'll uncover the stories of the people behind the headlines and see how these two small towns are navigating the challenges of a global trade war. Before we get into the nitty gritty of tariffs, let's talk about something that revolutionized global trade, the shipping container. These big metal boxes might seem boring, but they're the unsung heroes of the global economy. Before containers, shipping goods across oceans was a logistical nightmare. It was slow, expensive, and things got damaged all the time. But then came along Malcolm McLean, a trucking entrepreneur with a vision. He realized that standardizing shipping with containers would make everything faster, cheaper, and more efficient. And boy, was he right. Shipping containers became the backbone of international trade allowing goods to flow freely across borders. Remember that cheap t-shirt you bought online? It probably arrived in a shipping container. That delicious coffee you had this morning? Yep, containers again. Think about it. What impact do you think the globalization of trade made possible by shipping containers has had on your life? Good, bad, both? Now, Back to our story about Pittsview and Emporia, two towns that have felt the brunt of international trade policies. When the tariffs hit, Chinese buyers started looking elsewhere for cheaper peanuts and timber. This sudden shift in demand left American producers scrambling to find new markets. Demand for American goods plummeted, and the effects were devastating. Warehouses filled with unsold products and market stalls that once bustled with activity now stood empty. In Pittsview, peanut farmers saw their profits dwindle. The once thriving fields, rich with the promise of a good harvest, now stood as silent witnesses to the economic downturn. Some were forced to sell their farms, 
generations of family legacy wiped out because of a trade war. The emotional toll was as heavy as the financial one, with families saying goodbye to land that had been in their care for decades. I never thought I'd see the day, said one farmer, his voice cracking with emotion, when I couldn't sell my peanuts because of politics. It's not just about the money, it's about the life we've built here, when I couldn't sell my peanuts because of politics. The frustration and helplessness were palpable as farmers watched their hard work go to waste. In Emporia, timber mills shut down, throwing hundreds of people out of work. The once busy mills, now silent and covered in dust, stood as monuments to a thriving industry brought to its knees. Families struggled to make ends meet, cutting back on essentials and finding new ways to stretch every dollar. The impact was felt in every household, from the dinner table to the children's education. And the once thriving town felt the chill of economic hardship. Main streets that were once bustling with activity now had closed shops and boarded up storefronts, a stark reminder of better days. I worked at the mill my whole life, said one former employee, his eyes filled with uncertainty. Now what am I supposed to do? The sense of loss was profound as workers faced an uncertain future. Now what am I supposed to do? The question hung heavy in the air with no easy answers in sight. These are just two examples of how tariffs intended to protect American jobs, ended up causing more harm than good. The ripple effects were felt far and wide, affecting not just the workers, but entire communities, ended up hurting American workers. The very policies meant to safeguard livelihoods instead led to widespread unemployment and economic despair. The law of unintended consequences, y'all, it's a real thing. And in towns like Pittsview and Emporia, the reality of those consequences is all too clear. Section 4. The Promise and the Reality. Did Tariffs Deliver? The Trump administration argued that tariffs were necessary to protect American industries and bring back manufacturing jobs. They claimed that China was engaging in unfair trade practices and that tariffs would level the playing field. But did it work? The evidence is mixed at best. While some industries benefited from the tariffs, many others suffered. The agricultural sector in particular was hit hard, as were manufacturing industries that relied on Chinese imports. Moreover, the tariffs led to higher prices for consumers. Remember that cheap t-shirt we talked about earlier? Yeah, it's not so cheap anymore. And that coffee? Yep, you're paying more for that too. So were the tariffs effective? Did they achieve their intended goals? Or did they create more problems than they solved? It's a complex issue with no easy answers. Section 5. The Human Cost of Trade Wars. What's next? In this final section, we delve into the future implications and the ongoing impact of trade wars on everyday lives. The story of Pittsview and Emporia is a stark reminder that trade wars have real consequences for real people. These are not just abstract economic policies. They affect the very fabric of our communities. While the economic arguments for and against tariffs rage on, with experts presenting data and theories, it's important to remember the human cost of these policies. The stress and uncertainty faced by individuals and families are often overlooked in these debates. The farmers, loggers, and other workers in primary industries, and factory workers who lost their jobs due to shifting trade policies, the families struggling to put food on the table, making difficult choices every day, the communities grappling with economic uncertainty, facing the closure of local businesses and the erosion of their economic base. These are the faces of the trade war. They are our neighbors, friends, and family members. As we move forward, it's crucial to have a nuanced conversation about trade policy, one that goes beyond the headlines